Luke, it's Coach Gurney from Rising Star Baseball Camp. This is video footage of you hitting on August 2nd, 2017. And I'm going to make a couple of recommendations mechanically to improve your performance, although I will say at the start here that you've had a really good week with us and you've squared up a lot of balls, or as we say, you've barreled up a lot of balls. I would emphasize that pitch selection is very important as a hitter, and that's a mental soft skill, and that's something I do want you to really think about. Ted Williams, arguably the greatest hitter of all time, his first rule was get a good pitch to hit, and sometimes I think you go out of the zone. But anyway, let's take a look at your mechanics. You do a nice job in your stance and setup. Your feet are wider than shoulders width, and your hands are right by your right ear, and you got the bat in between a 45 degree and a flat bat angle. As we start the swing, we do see that your hands drop. Now it is a low pitch, but you want to go down and get that ball with your legs rather than dropping your hands. But the big concern for me, Luke, is this front arm. This front arm gets extended pre-contact. We call this casting or casting your hands like a fisherman casting a lure with a fishing rod. In baseball, we don't want to do that. So this pre-contact extension is going to make it hard for you to react to certain pitches. Now, maybe not playing with 9- and 10-year-olds, but certainly as you move up to playing with 15- and 16-year-olds, it's going to be a lot harder to make consistent contact with that casted approach right there. The other thing I want to point out, aside from the casting, which I think you can see is occurring here as well, Okay, we never want to get that extension early or later in the swing until after contact. I want to focus on your head because hitting is hard enough without having a lot of head movement. So what I'm going to do is put a circle around your head and we're going to play the tape. And as you can see, your head moves a great deal. Now I know you're going down to get the ball, but forgetting that, look how your head twists. So we want to try and keep a stationary head. Because the more our head moves, the more the ball's going to move. And it's hard enough hitting off talented pitchers as it is. So those are my two big things. The favorite part of the, your swing for me is right here in terms of excellent stiff front side with the front leg and this bent back side with the rear leg. So this is excellent. And you do have a nice high finish here. So there are some things in your swing I really like, including, as I said, your stance and setup. But that front arm, and what we'll do here is we'll magnify the front arm as you go through your swing. And you see we get that casting. So that's the biggest concern I have, Luke, is the casted approach. And then, of course, as I mentioned, we want to eliminate that head movement. So going down and getting a low pitch you want to bend your knees and go down and get it that way and try not to turn our head. So I can go down and get a ball by bending my knees without twisting and turning my head so much. So to finish up, I just want to say you've had a great camp week with us and I do see a lot of improvement in the last 12 months, but I want to see you continue to work on these things, especially that casting the hands issue. So we're going to finish the, the tape by you in slow motion.